Welcome to Banos, Ecuador. Founded in 1570 by Dominican missionaries. It's a pretty religious town. Their big basilica here is made from volcanic stone. From the large volcano that overlooks the town, the large active volcano, which will be hiking up here shortly. First, we're gonna take a little walk through the town. Seems to be some kind of celebration of South American dance. The first pair of performers were from Bolivia, the second from Peru. I especially like that uh, the Peruvian uh, man's facial expression. Looks like he was the happiest man in the world. And after that, it was uh, two Chilean dancers. Although it was pretty good, I did not want to stick around for the whole show. I do have quite a few things I want to see today. So when walking these streets of Banos, it mostly comes across as a typical Ecuadorian town. Were to just walk around the streets it wouldn't appear to be one of the more popular tourist spots in ecuador but it is but this isn't really because of the town not that there's anything wrong with the town it's more about what surrounds it Daniel sits in a little valley surrounded by massive mountains and volcanoes as well as rivers that have created canyons and gorges that uh, people like to rappel down, white water raft in, and even paraglide in. Since these activities can be a little pricey for a full-time traveler such as myself, today we're going to have a budget-friendly adventure. Hiking.
pretty good look at Daniels. So this is Mirador de la Virgen. Pretty popular viewpoint to hike up to, but we are definitely not done yet. As there's quite a few more things to see. So a popular thing to do is come and swing here. It does cost money. kind of slightly let down by one thing and that's that I didn't get to see the summit of the Chungu Rahua volcano which is a snow-capped volcano that's over 5,000 meters Sorry, I had to stop there because for the first time in the week, I get to see the snow-covered uh, snow peak of Tungu Rahua Volcano. The ever-elusive giant volcano of 5,000 meters. Wow. That's over 15,000 feet and it's a really massive volcano that on a clear day it would be kind of behind the clouds there. You maybe would not be able to see it from here but it's still an active volcano that erupts quite frequently. But from what I understand it doesn't really come in the town, the lava that is, and the people here believe that because this town is sacred that uh, they're protected. I don't know that I would live here necessarily, that close to an active volcano, but it sure is interesting. So right now we're in late November and it's cloudy most of the time, especially that high up. Um, but I'm going to walk to a different location here uh, where apparently you could see it if um, the clouds allow it. This guy's been following me for a while. down for an adventure. Definitely seems excited. So on map, 
asked me, it's at Mirador del Volcan. But I'm not actually sure if they meant Tungu Rahua. Or maybe that's a volcano there. Like I said earlier in the video, there's a lot to see around here, including 60 waterfalls in the area. Let's go check some of them out. I've paid my one dollar entrance fee. Some guy waiting. Always seems kind of unofficial in Latin America. Like it's just this guy who just shows up here and collects a dollar, but not complaining. Not too expensive. Got some people fishing here. The town's full name is actually Baños de Santa Clara, which means Baths of Holy Water. It garnered that name because there's a lot of hot springs, um, the majority of which actually come from the Tungurahua volcano. And so the, the water is heated by the volcanic activity and contains a lot of sulfur. And the people actually believe that uh, the water has healing properties. And being a bicycle tourist, bicycle tier from Canada, a hot bath sounds like a good idea. Waited a few hours for the temperature to cool down a bit because that's the best time to go in a hot tub. When it's cold outside, the water's warm. So the one that I'm going to is the one that's near Cascadas La Virgen, which is the waterfall right over there. That one was perfect temperature. I'm gonna try the other pools. This one is icy cold. Oh.
Oh, oh, that's good. I was able to stay in there for a minute. Back to the hot one. That was really good, but I asked a local and apparently there's a bath that's even hotter. It's really hot. Going from the really hot one to the really cold one, maybe pretty lightheaded and kind of euphoric right now. That was some of the hottest water that I've ever been in, if not the hottest. I was pretty surprised. It was just a great experience overall, just being with the locals that seem to be regulars there, and it's kind of like a party almost. And overall, I just had a great time in Banos. I recommend it to anybody that's traveling to Ecuador. Next, I'll be heading to the pop popular expat city of Cuenca. That'll be the next video coming up on the channel. If you'd like to see more videos of beautiful Ecuador, I got quite a few more on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Either by going to the channel page and searching for Ecuador or checking out the Ecuador videos playlist. I was in Ecuador as part of my first ever bicycle tour going from Canada to Argentina. If you'd like to see everywhere that I went and everything that I did, I have an interactive map over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. If you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button below the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.